Tjena alla monster diggare. Sudske. <laughs> uh, today we're gonna do a quick review of the Mayfex Superman Hush. Um, this is the second reissue. Um, I missed the first one. I didn't think that was so good, but then this reissue came and I missed that one. And now there was a second reissue, so I didn't want to sleep on that baby. So we're gonna take a quick review. Most of you have seen him already. The first one and the second one and now the third one. Um, I, I like it. Uh, maybe the head is a little bit too small. But we're gonna take a look and uh, see the articulations and um, a little bit of comparison to other figures. Let's uh, take a look up close and personal. I like this head sculpt, but this is not my kind of Superman. I want my Superman to be a man of hope, you know, to bring joy and rescue everyone that falls off the building and stuff like that with a smile on his face. But this is maybe a grumpy more, you know, tired of helping so many people. Um, the S here is super clean, super clean. Um, nice abs, really nice abs. And this overlay is really rubbery. That's really good. So when you're moving up the leg, this is more agile than Sp Spider-Man. So that's good. I hope that I must check on my latest Spider-Man, this uh, Scarlet Spider. Um, mu nice muscle definition. The back. Um, so he has great m movement in the shoulder. You don't have to be afraid to uh, scratch the colors because it's all molded in blue. Great range of motion in the biceps. Put them up. He looks too short, but I will show you in the size comparison that he's not that short. Um, he has really long calves, uh, lower legs. I don't know if that's normal. Um, he can not move so much back, but that's not normal for a human being to move too much backwards all the way up and this is one problem that I have with him that's not much forward bend to the shoe so this is a not so good I will check if it's the same with Batman and with uh, Return of Superman is a bit more Let's see Batman way more way more so I don't know what they did here because that you can't yeah so now let's take a look at the accessories we got some great accessories here. We got the we got uh, four extra pair of hands. This is for holding Batman's cape, I think, because Batman has the same hands, and Return of Superman have the same hands. And here we have flight hands, salute to Captain America hand, 
and um, Karate Shopping Hands. And here we have Open Display. This is more like I'm gonna grab you by the throat hands. And this is more relaxed hands when he's just standing, talking to Batman and the other superheroes. And here we have Caesars like that, so he can pretend that he's Caesar. Julius Caesar, no, it's for the figure that is coming soon, Poison Ivy, because she controls him. Something like that, and for the arms. But I'm not gonna use that one. And he comes with an extra hand that not belongs to him. And that's the kryptonite ring that goes with the blue Batman. So that was all the art. Yeah, the head, the last thing. His angry head when he's fighting and when he's on the control for of Python Ivy. But let's see if we can get some. You can't see it here in this light. I have no good light anymore because it's winter here. But his eyes is red. So I like this head. This is when he's fighting. Uh, with Apocalypse or Doomsday, his name is Doomsday or Dark Seed. So he has to be a little bit mad. Yeah, I like this figure really much. So let's uh, make some size comparison and compare the comparison with other figures in line and other figures, uh, brands of figures. Here he is compared to Return of Superman. I don't know. I think that Return of Superman is just a little bit bulkier. You can't see. Because it's... I think he's bigger and bulkier. He definitely have more muscle definitions. Yeah, and now let's compare him to... My other favorite Mayfex figure from the DC line. Hush Batman. I need to get better light here. Don't stand on the cape. And I think he is, they are about the same size. The head sizes is different. Here we have him compared to uh, Spider-Man from Mayfix number 182 and my custom Peter Parker um, of the uh, that's the bootleg John Wick chapter 2 body and now and here we have Marvel Legends figures uh, 80th anniversary Captain America, that's my favorite Captain America of all time and my least favorite Spider-Man figure of all time um, and we have one more figure to put here and then we're gonna compare to another I like this, this is my favorite Hulk figure. Oh, sorry. And here we have it compared to Hulk. He's big that he can't fit in the frame. And now we have the two last figure to compare with. That's uh, G.I. Joe classified. Here we have him with snake eyes. I like this size. And here we have Duke. 
So that concludes my review of this figure. It was just over 10 minutes. I hope you liked it. Uh, please like, subscribe and you know what to do. See you in the next video.